Come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with corn and soybean experts about best practices in pest control, ag issues, and how growers can get more from every acre. All you need is a minute. I'm on my way to Concord, Nebraska to talk with Dr. Stephen Genezovic, Professor of Integrated Weed Management at the University of Nebraska. FMC partners with leading researchers and experts to bring growers the best strategies to efficiently and consistently maximize production. Today, we're talking with Dr. Genezovic about deploying an integrated weed management program in soybeans and corn. Hey, Dr. Knezovic, so hey. nice to see you. Nice to see you, Jake. So let's get to it, timing's everything. I wanna hear about this critical time period in weed management. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, critical period of weed control is actually the term that we use. It's basically uh, the way I explain it is a window in the growing season or a time span in the growing season of a crop. And based on our research, it is from fourth leaf stage to 10th leaf stage in corn v4 to v10 which is canopy closure or in soybeans it's from v1 which is the first trifoliate stage all the way up to about a r3 which is beginning pod which is basically in both crops about 30 to 40 day of the growing season and you've said that that's kind of a race between the weed growth and the plant stand right that's correct. I use the analogy of a race car. You have a weed car and a crop car and they start to line, the gun goes off, and who is gonna catch up the resources and the space and everything quicker. And of course, there's money attached to all of this. So could you tell us a little bit about yield loss when you delay weed management? Right, there is money tied on the end. Basically, uh, based on our research, we come up with the uh, general rule of thumb, what I called, it's a 2% yield loss in corn and two and a half percent yield loss in soya beans for every crop's leaf stage of delayed weed control. For example, if I tell you to go in at the V1 stage in soybeans, if you go in on V2, that's gonna cost you two and a half percent. If you raise 60 bushel beans, two and a half percent of 60 bushel is a one and a half bushel. So money-wise, that would run you uh, easily 10 bucks for every leaf stage of delay, which is actually every five days. So if you wait till V4, it's gonna cost you another 12 bucks. And this is things you have to keep in mind, particularly if you have a large amount of acreage you're trying to cover, right? That's correct. And I know that recently you did some research on using a pre and post herbicide program versus just a post only program. Can you tell us some of the benefits of using a two pass system with herbicides like Authority, Anthem, Max, or Solstice? Yeah, the benefits is twofold. Number one is it'll give you that extra window for the critical period of weed control. Uh, basically, if you apply a solar applied herbicides, the critical period is not going to be at v1 stage it's going to be at v4 or v5 so you're getting a head start in that race. so you're getting a head start in that race and you're basically uh, giving yourself an extra three weeks that uh, four leaf stages counts about three weeks to decide what we're going to do a uh, post emerge and then the second fold is that the using soil applied herbicide is going to help you uh, with the uh, different modes of actions for the resistance, uh, weed resistance management. Well, thanks so much for all the information. Sure. We really appreciate no problem. it. Anytime, Jake. Thanks. Thank you. As Dr. Knezovic pointed out, it's critical to control weeds very early. Using a pre-herbicide can greatly enhance the window for yield protection. Combining pre-emergence and post-emergence residual herbicides with multiple modes of action helps manage weed resistance and is core to a start clean, stay clean approach to weed control. So until next time, be safe out there, and I'll see you down the road when you have a minute.